Maisters, welcome back to my channel, this is Maisie. So today on Maisie's costume compilation, I am going to be doing a Tris Pryor from Divergent costume. By the way, if my eyes look kind of like red and puffy, I was crying. All I'm going to say is Fred Weasley. Um, so yeah, and by the way, if my, um, if like my words aren't making sense in this video, it's because it's literally midnight, so yeah. Also, I am really excited because it's actually October now, so I'm not going to get like weird looks for doing Halloween videos. So yeah, for my makeup, what I'm doing is I just, I already have all my skin makeup on and stuff. So, yeah, and I'm trying to really, I'm not trying too hard to mimic the shape of her face because she does have a very uniquely shaped face. So, I'm just starting with my Morphe bronzer. This is in the shade Romance. And she does have, like I said, she has a very uniquely shaped face. So, we're not trying to um, get it perfectly. We're just trying to replicate it. So, I'm just contouring out my cheekbones. I apply it with one brush and blend it with another, by the way. Hence why I'm not blending it. So I'm just doing out the my like hollows of my cheekbones so that I can kind of get a little more height in my cheeks. And I'm also contouring my nose just because her nose is a tad bit smaller than mine. Okay, so that is my contour. And then I also did my jawline because everybody contours their jawline these days. So next I'm going to put a little bit of blush on just because she does have a nice rosy hue to her face. This is the Will Powder Blush and Preservance from the Bomb Cosmetics. If you watch any of my videos, you know I love this stuff. So I'm just going to put that on the apples of my cheeks. I'm trying to get a little extra high just because you did contour out those cheekbones for a reason. And then, of course, blend it out with your buffer brush. So, yeah. Highlighter, that is the highlighter I am using. It's from Estate Cosmetics. Not really sure what the name of it is. But I'm just going to be generous with my highlighter because, like I said, you did contour out your cheekbones for a reason. So, you just got to put on some highlighter and then blend it out because you don't want to look like you just got pixie dusted at disney world so yeah okay so next i did add some black eyeliner and i know it's not exactly even but quoting christina from the books you are not going for pretty you're going for noticeable so yeah after i did my eyeliner i did my eyebrows and for my eyebrows i had to go a lot thinner than my natural eyebrows and the reason why i'm sitting like this because i have to get close to the camera for you to see her eyebrows i know were a lot thinner than this that was as thin as i could go without them looking wacky with the way that i like style them pluck them i don't know what your what the terms are so yeah i did my eyebrows okay so i, I just took my hair down so this is very crazy she has straight hair I do not. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing her look with her hair in a low ponytail. So I am just brushing the top of my hair because as someone with curly hair, you don't want to be brushing the bottom. Very bad idea. And I'm just pulling it into a fairly low ponytail. I had a ponytail holder. There we go. It's like I had a ponytail holder here somewhere. So I'm going to pick that up. And ah, it's tangled. Okay. I had two ponytail holders holding up my hair. So, why well, did I do this? There we go. Okay. Um, I'm just pulling my hair into a ponytail. Her hair is a perfect. Your hair doesn't need to be perfect either. So, yeah, I'm just doing it in a low, loose ponytail, kind of in the back of my head, if you can see that. Ew, there's like a weird tease right there. Oh, yeah, I teased my hair to get it in a bun because it wasn't cooperating. So then I'm just kind of pulling out some strands because she has these little wispies in her hair. So, yeah, that is all you need to do with your hair. And as always, I add a little finishing touch. I added her Three Birds tattoo thing. I know that looks absolute rubbish. That is because I cannot draw. And it, I am like Hermione, which if you've, watched, if you've watched any of my videos recently, you will know that. By the way, does anyone know where it says, in the books or movies, I don't care, that it says that Hermione can't draw? Because 
I am on Deathly Hallows, and I just read, like, the Battle of Hogwarts chapter. Very sad, yet at the same time, actually pretty great, because I really ship Hermione. I don't know how you say it. I'm pretty sure I'm saying it wrong. So, yeah, but I need to know where it says that, or is it just some headcanon that someone came up with? But please let me know in the comments if you know, because I want to be able to relate to Hermione not being able to draw. So, yeah, well, fangirl rant, but you get the idea. So, yeah, that is my little tattoo finishing touch. Well, that is your complete Tris Pryor look. You have your ponytail, your makeup, your out and your outfit, and then your finishing touch. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Turn the no notification bell. Comment down below. Hashtag notification squad. Get a shout out in one of my videos. Also, comment down below who you want to see for next week. I'm thinking of doing Hermione as well as some other people. So yeah, also I forgot to mention, I think I already did mention this actually, but if you are doing this, I would recommend straightening your hair, and you can always, I mean, I don't think I've mentioned this in my tutorials yet, but you can always add things or take things away to fit with your own personal appearance, and no matter what, I'm sure you're going to look great, so yeah, thank you so much for watching, love y'all, bye! Yeah, that means hi. I'm talking in French. Um, AKA, I'm talking in French when I should be taking thumbnail pictures and then get to bed because I'm so tired. Okay, for all this time. Bye.